What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Prize Picks video. In this one, we're talking about the NBA for Thursday, April 4th. In the video, we have five picks to consider, so stay tuned for all five. Excited about these TNT games, especially, so let's get into them. National televised games, let's go. And if you guys want more picks, we do have a private Discord as well at Dynamo. It's less than a dollar per day. Get access to five plus cappers giving out picks in here all sports you can see one of our new members the ray here hitting a ton of slips in just the couple of days that he's been in here g hitting on underdog we also post underdog picks as well in here and some prize picks plays are good over there g hitting from the private discord another new member drewski getting close on some six man slips but hitting on some flex plays racks over here with a ton of hits coley posting his Hits as well. A ton of hits over in the Discord today. Also, I do post more picks in here. I posted three more NBA on prize picks. Went three for three on that slip. Click the link down below or the pinned comment to check it out. It's less than a dollar per day to get access to more of my picks plus five plus cappers in there. You guys saw all the hits. See how we're getting those for the private Discord members and winning together over there. Let's get into this one. The first pick I'm going to go to is in that Kings and a Knicks game. I'm going to go to Jalen Brunson here. Over on his assist at 6.5. Going to be a possible high-scoring game. Hopefully the Kings can keep it close in this one. The Kings desperately need to win for seeding in the West, so they should be going hard. They don't have Malik Monk in this game, though. And the Knicks do have a tough defense, but I think the Knicks can definitely put up some points on the Kings, not sure if the Kings can. Hopefully they will keep this one close though, like I said. So first one I'm going to is Brunson over on his assists. We can take a look at this one over on Outlier, which is a really good tool I use every single day for player prop picks. So highly recommend clicking that link down below to get a seven day free trial to try it out. Definitely helps out with the picks here. So going to the assists, something he's hit 56% of the time this year. In his first like 10 games, he didn't hit this once, so uh, since then, he's been hitting it at above 60% rate. And Brunson definitely has been on a good assist tear this year compared to last year where he only did this in 42% of the game. So really has taken on more of a point guard and playmaking assist role in these games this year. Another cool thing you can do on Outlier is we can look over here at this graph, uh, how many times this has hit in games where he's played without Julius Randle, who's obviously been out for a long time now. 26 games this year, he's hit it in 16 of 26 where Randle's been out. So a higher percentage here when Randle is out as well. Uh, so we definitely are liking to see that for Jalen Brunson on that first pick. The second pick, we're going to go stick with this game, go to Harrison Barnes and like I said, Knicks, very tough defense. Going to Barnes on the under of points of 12.5. 12.5 may not seem like a lot, but for Barnes, it actually has been this year uh, for sure. So we can look at Harrison Barnes over here on Outlier as well to show you some stats and data behind this one. This season, points, he's only gone over this in 40% of games. Well, you might say, you know, it's probably better without Malink Monk in the lineup. Well, it's only been three games, but only one of three he's gone over 12 and a half without Malink Monk, so not a huge sample size. But also Kevin Herter's out, right? So you maybe think a higher percent hit rate when Herter's out. It's actually even lower, 11 games. He's only hit it in four of 11. So I really think that Monk and Herter don't affect his usage that much um, and then again we're playing the Knicks here second best defense in the league allowing under 108 points per game so for those reasons going to be going on the under for Harrison Barnes tough matchup and I don't think he gets the boost that they are giving him here at points all right for the third pick we're going to come over here use odds jam it's a really wide screen here but you can see at the top, we got James Harden over on steals plus blocks of one and a half. This is one that sportsbooks are liking. That's what Odds Jam does. They take lines on prize picks, underdog, wherever, and compare it to what the other sportsbooks have it at. So you can see DraftKings minus 130, MGM minus 135, Fliff minus 150 here. So a lot of these sites are liking this one to go over. And this is a game against Denver. 
again, these games really matter for Denver to hold on to first place and for the Clippers for seeding. We also have no Kawhi Leonard, so I expect Harden to play even more minutes than he usually will and be very active out there. That includes on defense, and this year he's hit this over 57% of the time. He's had two or more uh, stocks, combined steals and blocks. Last year, same exact stat, 57%. So Harden, I think it's going to be a good one. This should be a tough matchup where, you know, they will be forcing more defense, kind of a playoff environment. So I do like that for Harden as well. So we're going to go ahead and lock this one out over on prize picks here. Harden over the one and a half steals plus blocks. And then we're going to go to our next pick here. It's going to be Jalen Green against the Warriors. Going to be taking his over on points at 26 and a half. Jalen Green has been going absolutely crazy the past like month now almost. So really liking Jalen Green here. He smashed this over. And I was worried about his taco on Tuesday of I think it was over 21 and a half or over 20 and a half against Minnesota. A lot of people weren't taking that taco. Um, and because it's a really tough matchup against Minnesota, but he showed out in that he got 26 points in that really tough matchup where Houston only scored 106 points. Like, that was a tough one, and he had a really good game. But now he gets a great matchup here against Golden State. I think this one's going to be really high scoring. It's projected to be, and it's also projected to be close with actually Houston the favorite in this game. So... Like in Jalen Green here, in his last 10 games, he's gone over this in 6 of 10, but definitely some tough matchups along the way. Cleveland, Minnesota in there, but he's had some huge games, 42 and 41, 37 twice. So like in Jalen Green to have another one of those huge games. Obviously this year, he's only hit it 24% of the time. Games without Sengun, he's hit it in 6 of 12 games. And in his last 10 without Sengun, uh, obviously 6 of 10 that we just looked at as well. So liking Jalen Green here. Going to be taking him on the over of points. And then we're also going to go to Draymond over on his points of 7.5. And, and liking Draymond in this game, uh, scoring the ball. He's been scoring pretty decently this year. I mean, his lines are always so low at 7.5. Something he's hit 58% of the time this year. I mean... Uh, to be fair for Draymond, you know, there's some games down here on the minute chart looking really low. That's probably because he got ejected from these games. So you also have to count out the ejections and just pray that he doesn't get ejected in this game. But, you know, if we give him like these last games, he's played 28 or more minutes in each of them. And some of these were kind of even blowouts. I think you can at least give him 28 minutes here. Definitely a cool thing you could do on Outlier is shift this little minutes tab, which shows you how many times they hit it when they played in between that range of minutes. He's hit it 79% of the time when he plays at least 28 minutes or more. He's played 28, what was it, 28, 31, and almost 31 in the last three. So liking Draymond in this spot for those reasons. Also, got to come over here, and you may think, that with Curry in the lineup, he doesn't score as much. But if we take, but if we look at games only with Curry played, um, this actually goes up to 62% as well. And then also when Wiggins is playing, it jumps up to 65%. So actually with these guys in the lineup, he actually scores better for some reason as well. So like in Draymond, over on the 7.5 points for this one. I do post more picks over in the private Discord here. You can see the three-pick NBA slip I posted in there today on prize picks hit. But I'm just one capper in Dynamo. You can see number over here went 12 of 13 today. He's been absolutely on fire the last few days. And then looking at some of the big wins for new members of the private Discord here over the past couple of days. And on Underdog, another new member here hitting racks, always hitting off some of the picks in there and Coley. So Definitely get in here, check it out. It's less than a dollar per day. Click on the link in the top of the description or the pinned comment. We'll see you in there and subscribe to the channel.